All right, now we're going to get into some trickier stuff. Graphing, top to bottom. We're going to talk about transformations. Okay, now what a transformation means, and if you have something, whatever it is, it's a line, a triangle, whatever, a transformation means we are doing something to it to change it. Maybe we're making this triangle show up over here. Maybe we're making this dot show up over here. Maybe this line is going to become that line. Maybe like we're going to rotate it from a point. Okay? All those things will show uh, a change from what we started with. Therefore, it's called a transformation because we're going to transform it like transformers. Okay. So the first thing we'll do is translation. And we're just going to talk about a point, just a regular old point, because now we know how to graph points. Okay. So here's a point. Okay. Um, one, two, three, okay, so point A, its x value is 3, and it's 2 high, so its y value is 2. So that's the description for point A. Now the translation, we can say, what would happen if, here's our, tra uh, our, our, our transformation, we are going to uh, move the point down by 5. We're going to move it down by five units. What is our new point? Um, okay, so there's two ways we can do this. We can draw it, or we can I can show you symbolically. We'll draw it first. Okay, two going down. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, think about it like this. If we started at plus two degrees outside, and then the temperature went down by five degrees, we would end up at minus three, okay? This is as simple as being able to count. You're good to go if you can do this. So the new point, we'll call the new point A prime, that little line, it's, it's not a number one, no, no, no. It's like a little dash, just like a, a sorry, a little line like that. So that means A prime, and what it means is that it's the new version of the graph, okay? So A prime here, what is A prime? A prime now has an x value of 3 still, because we're still right here. But the y value is now negative 3. Okay? So if we have this, and then we move the point down 5, we end up here. Okay, well what if this is too big for us to graph? Like what if we're dealing with numbers way off the graph? Here's what we can do. We know that any, for any point P, we're dealing with X and Y. We know that already. However, we should be able to get used to understanding what, when we're being asked, what we can do to this. If that made any sense. Okay, here's the instructions. It says move something. So we're gonna have to show a change to one or both of those things, okay? Well, it says move it down. So if we're going to move something down, we're not dealing with x, because x deals with left and right. We're dealing with y. Okay? So we know we're going to change y. Right? And how much are we changing it by? We're moving it 5 units. Okay. When we move something down 5, are we adding 5, or are we subtracting 5? Yes. I'm uh, just kidding. We are subtracting 5. Okay? So that's what we're all going to get just by these little instructions here. Okay? We recognize we're dealing with y and we're going to subtract 5. Okay, now what does that mean? It means that okay, before we had a, 3, 2. This is what we started with. But because we're going to subtract 5 to y, this is what our new point will be. a prime will be 3 bracket, or sorry, comma, 2 minus 5. Simple as that. All I'm doing is including the minus 5 in this value of y here. Okay? Because before y was 2, but we're moving it down 5, so that was, that's what this is, moving down by 5. And then we can just do our math like we know how to do. That means a prime is 3, comma, and 2 minus 5, we should know already, is negative 3. Okay. This works this way for really big numbers that uh, you might not be able to show on a graph and count. 
And what if you had to count by like 900 or something like that? It would take you forever. I'm all about finding the shortcuts. Okay? So we'll do another example of a translation, uh, maybe in another video. But this is the idea, the translation of Y.